Hi, do you want to explore Munich with me? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this year's first travel vlog! My friend and I spent 48 hours in Munich exploring museums, walking through beautiful parks, watching surfers and eating lots of good food. You've probably heard of Munich before because it hosts the famous Oktoberfest, but the city has so much more to offer, so come explore with us! After arriving at Munich Central Station, we locked up our luggage and then walked to the city center via Karlsplatz. Munich has a great public transport system, but all the important sites are within walking distance. And because spring weather was amazing, we thought this would be the best way to explore the city. We were super hungry, so we decided to get lunch first before exploring anything. And we went to this cute Mexican place called La Burita, which is located in a side street near Marienplatz. They serve quesadillas, burritos and bowls. We both went for the spring roll bowl and it was amazing. Big recommendation. Also the price was reasonable and you have to keep in mind that Munich is generally very expensive, so that was really okay. We then strolled across the famous Viktualienmarkt, which is more than just a farmer's market because they also have stuff like cute food stalls, flowers, etc. And it's right in the city center. From there, we passed the famous town hall and went straight to the Frauenkirche, which is Munich's landmark cathedral. Its southern tower opened to the public in March 2022 after restoration, so we were super lucky because you can now take an elevator to the top from which you get a 360 degree panorama of Munich. It's not an open platform though, so you have to photograph through windows and unfortunately it's closed during sunrise and sunset, so it's open from 10 to 5 daily, but it's definitely worth the view even around lunchtime. And on cloudless days like we had, we'll even see the Alps. After that, we walked to the Residenz, which is located next to the State Opera House. The treasure chambers and galleries are open to the public, yet they're not as famous as many other sites in Munich, so we actually had most rooms to ourselves, which was amazing. I highly recommend going in, because all those pompous rooms are literally out of this world, you have to see that. Entry was 8 euros for students, again, Munich is expensive, but if you're into aesthetics and art and art history, and history in general, this is definitely worth it. Next up, we walk to Odeonsplatz and Feldhahnhalle, which is just a stone's throw away from the residence. Got coffee at Starbucks there. We don't have Starbucks where I live, so that was a must. And I got the new vegan iced espresso with brown sugar, and I loved it. Then we walk through the Hofgarten, which is a cute little park that hosts the Bavarian Federal Government building and connects to Munich's large city park, the Englischer Garten. This park is almost 4 square kilometers and offers a break from the hectic city life. If I studied in Munich, I'd be spending lots of time in there for sure. One famous feature of the park is the Eisbach, a side river of the Isar that features a man-made wave that is popular with surfers. We could have watched them for hours, but I made the mistake of getting too close to take a photo and I got very wet, so don't get too close. But it was worth it though. We then walked a little further into the park and got to a temple-like tower called the Monopteros, which stands on a hill and overlooks the park with the skyline in the background, so this is definitely an amazing place to catch sunset or simply get a tan with a view. As it was already time for dinner, we left the park to the west exit and found a Japanese restaurant that seemed really nice, and it was. My friend had ramen and I ordered dumplings, sushi and spring rolls and it all tasted amazing. After dinner, we started feeling tired from running around all day, so we walked back to the train station, picked up our bags and walked to the hotel, which was just a 5 minute walk from the station. It's called Atrium Hotel Munich and the price was definitely okay for Munich with 46 euros per person. Next day started with a cup of black tea in the hotel room, we then packed up and brought our luggage back to the station lockers and then walked to a cute little breakfast place close to the Theresienwiese where the Oktoberfest takes place. 
It's called Notting Hill Cafe and I absolutely love the interior. I had waffles with fruit, black tea and orange juice and my friend had hummus toast. And I would say it was a little overpriced given the meal size but it was still really really cute so just going for the aesthetics. Then from there we took the subway and then a bus to Nymphenburg Palace which is basically a huge palace that features this pompous facility itself as well as a huge garden with a canal. We bought a ticket for 7 euros to see the main palace which was a little expensive because the tour was pretty short compared to the tour in the residence and no audio guide was included but it's still worth visiting. And we then took a long walk in the park along the canal. After visiting Nymphenburg, we took the S-Bahn right back to Sandlinger Tor, which is the beginning of the pedestrian zone that has lots and lots of shops. We first got the obligatory coffee, this time I got a caramel frappuccino with oat milk, and then we decided to have lunch at La Burita again, this time I ordered quesadillas, which were awesome as well. After lunch we hit the shops, but we actually didn't buy anything, and then when we started to get tired, we walked back to the central station, took the evening train back home to Passau. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of vlog on my channel. Definitely subscribe for more because more travel vlogs are coming in 2022. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!